Beloved, on behalf of His Eminence, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, we welcome you into One Million Strong. And we, God is massively helping us. And I know that you've been blessed following us and being part of this uh, prayer watch. Uh, we ask that grace will abound towards you. The Lord will favor your cause as you consistently watch with us. And as we continue in prayer, we ask that the Lord will give you the enablement, the strength, the capacity you need to press on. And today we are here again, praying for revival and restoration of the fivefold ministry and the body in the body of Christ. We are praying that the Lord once again uh, will come to our aid and give us the enablement, the grace, the empowerment, and the restoration to be able to do what he has called us to do. And as we look at the book of Ephesians chapter four and the verse number 11, uh, talking about the fivefold ministry, he said, and, and he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and some teachers for the perfecting of the saints and for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body, till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man unto the measure of stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro, carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slight of men and cunning craftiness, whereby they lie in way to deceive, but speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, which is the head and even the Christ. We are praying today that the Lord will give us the fivefold ministry, be the prophet, maybe you, be, you may be a teacher you may be a prophet, you may be an evangelist, whichever area God has called you. We want to pray for the noble grace of God upon your life, that the Lord will help us, the Lord will strengthen us, enable us by his spirit to be able to do what he has called us to do. So wherever you are, I want us to begin to pray, thank God for today, thank God for the grace and thank God the opportunity he has given to us to come before him. So open your mouth, let's begin to thank God. Father, blessed be your holy name. We bless you, O God our Lord for your grace and your mercy that have triumphed for us and delivered us from all the affliction and for all the tribulations and all that the enemy projected against your people you are by your sustaining grace have we been delivered and we are here to appreciate your wonderful works and we are here to ask you that father your grace will continue to work with us and by your mercy so God you will continue to be God over our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we thank you we give we praise. We bless you, even for the life of your is eminent the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan Williams, that your grace that is keeping him, your mercies that is triumphant for him on a daily basis. We give you glory, oh God, for his life, for the sustaining grace that is keeping him, for your mercy and for your kindness that have delivered him from so deadly a peril. Many were the affliction, many were the weapons, and many were the arrows that the enemy deployed against your servant and against the body of Christ, against us and again the children of God but by your mercies are we here not destroyed and consumed therefore we are here to give you glory and to bless your holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God in Jesus mighty name we have prayed with thanksgiving and let the people say with me amen we are praying to ask for mercy for us in the name of Jesus he said when I could I, I would have healed Israel then the iniquity of Ephraim were discovered we want to ask the Lord for mercy for men and women of God in ministry, that the Lord once again will show us mercy, according to Isaiah 59 verse 2, but, but your iniquities have separated you from your God, and your sins have hidden his face from you, so that he will not hear. We are asking the Lord to forgive our iniquities, as people of God, our leaders, ourselves, individuals, our, our congregation members, whatever we have done against God, we want to plead the blood for mercy, for David said, I know that iniquity were conceived, but you desire truth in the inner man. Therefore, Father, show us mercy in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. We come before you, O God, with our leaders, O God, asking the blood of Jesus, O God, and the blood that justified, the blood that sanctified, the blood that consecrated and redeem us, will redeem us from the power of iniquity, for it is written, a soul that sin shall die. And we said, because of our iniquity, that is why our prayers are not being heard. But today, we come before you, O God, that by 
by your mercy, you will forgive us in the name of Jesus, of our leaders of iniquity, of our churches of our iniquities, of nations, of oh God, and the leaders of nations of iniquity that we have committed against you and against your will. Men and women of God that are basilidated from the faith and turn away from your word and gone to follow other gods. We plead for mercy, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that today your mercies will triumph and the blood will sanctify, the blood will deliver, and the blood will heal our heart from the power of iniquity, that anything holding us and anything bounding our soul in spiritual captivity because of errors, today by the mercies of God, let our life be delivered, oh God, let our life be delivered. May we be rescued, may we be redeemed from the sins of omission and sins of commission, disobedient against the word of God, disobedient against whatever we've done to disobey your word. We declare, oh God, that your mercies, oh God, will triumph over judgment in the name of Jesus. That you forgive us and for deliver us uh, in the name of Jesus. David said, for I know that if I hide iniquity in my heart and I pray, you will not listen to me. My Bible said that when the people of Israel held against you, oh God, my Bible said that they were taken into captivity for 17 years because of the iniquity of the fathers. Uh, we declare that whatever the church, the body of Christ, wherein we have heard, we ask for mercy, oh God, that you will show us mercy once again and deliver us, deliver our leaders, deliver us, uh, your children, deliver us from the power of iniquity, deliver our souls in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power in the blood of Jesus. May we be redeemed by the efficacy in the blood. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed with thanksgiving and let the people say amen with me. We are still praying, beloved, that the Lord will strengthen any form of discouragement and any form of power that I'm getting hold of a man of God, spirit of weariness and tiredness, confusion and frustrations of mind in ministry. We want to deploy the hand of the Lord at work to deliver us by the power of the Holy Spirit. According to the book of Isaiah 43 verse 2, it says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the river, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. According to Joshua 1 9, have I not commanded you be strong and of good courage? Do not be afraid. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. We are praying that the spirit of the Lord will come upon us. The strength of the Lord and the power of the Most High, just as Moses encouraged Joshua, that be strong, be courageous. May the spirit of the Lord brood upon men and women of God. Those who are discouraged in ministry, those who have come to the crossroad at the point of giving up in ministry, at the point of stopping the ministry, the work of the ministry, today we ask, oh God, that let strength take over every weakness in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Let the spirit of the Lord brood over your people. Once again, let the strength of the Most High come over pastors, come over teachers, come over prophets, evangelists, those that are doing the work of the ministry, going through cycles of challenges and affliction and trouble and turbulence in ministry. We declare, oh God, let there be a manifestation of your spirit and your grace at work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, that your spirit will encourage you, release your people once again by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus, that they shall be strengthened in their inner man with the spirit of might and power that the spirit of courage will take over them, the spirit of boldness of God will take over them by the spirit of God, that nothing will sway your people, nothing will sway his eminent dear bishop Nicholas Zanka Williams that all forms of discouragement, weariness tiredness, by your spirit let them be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mind in the name of Jesus. Uh, deliver your servant. Deliver your people. Deliver men and women of God in ministry. We declare, let the body be delivered by the Spirit of God. Let any yoke of frustration, any yoke of setback, any yoke that has limited your people, those at the point of giving up, those at the point of stopping living the ministry, today, wherever they are, may your spirit visit them in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May your spirit visit them, O oh Lord, by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, let the yoke of discouragement
discouragement be broken. Let the yoke of discouragement be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, any form of affliction that have been released into the ministry against men and women of God to circumvent the will of God, to circumvent them from the counsel of Elohim. Today we also stand petition heaven on behalf of your servant, declaring deliverance today by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. And let the people of the Lord say amen. We are still praying. Praying for the outpouring of the fresh spirit of the Lord. Yeah, the anointing of the Holy Ghost to come upon the body. The gift of the spirit. The gift of revelation. The word of wisdom. The word of knowledge. The discernment of spirit. The gift of faith. The gift of healing. The workings of miracles. Yeah, we declare that let the gift in the body come alive over men and women of God by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uh, we declare, oh God, as we stand before your presence, uh, declaring your majesty, declaring your greatness, declaring your power, and declaring your grace. Uh, let your supernatural awesome presence of God take over the body by your spirit. Uh, take over your people by your anointing and by your grace. Uh, let the seven spirit of God be activated over the body in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. We command the fresh activation of your spirit, the enablement of the Holy Ghost power, the enablement of your anointing, the enablement of your spirit, the enablement of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. Brood over pastors, brood over women of God. The fivefold ministry, let it be activated, let it come alive. The evangelistic ministry, the prophetic, the teachers in the name of Jesus. According to a word in Isaiah 32 verse 52, until the spirit of the Lord is poured upon us from on high, and then the wilderness shall be fruitful field, and the fruitful field shall be counted for forest. And according to your word in the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 8, but you shall receive power after when the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to other most part of the earth. And your word says, oh God, we declare the verse the sixteen says, then judgment shall dwell in the wilderness and righteousness remain in the fruitful field. And according to your word in Isaiah 9, 4, of, of the increase of his government and of peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice for henceforth even forever the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. We declare on this airways, let the zeal of the Lord perform it, O oh God. Let the power of the Most High perform it. Pouring your spirit upon the fivefold ministry, the teacher, the prophet, the evangelist, uh, we declare, oh God, uh, let there be a manifestation, a release of your spirit uh, upon the fivefold ministries uh, over this action chapel globally and over the men and women of God in ministry, the fresh outpouring of your visitation and of your grace uh, upon the church in the name of Jesus Christ. Release your grace and release your anointing. Pour down your spirit. Pour down the Holy Ghost power. Let there be the reverential knowledge of God, uh, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the fear of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. You said, you said unto David, I have found myself at David and with my holy oil, I have an anointed him. We declare an anointing over this ministry, sir. By the power of the Holy Ghost, sir, there shall come forth a root in the stem of Jesse and the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge by what he sees in the physical eyes, but he shall judge by the discernment of the spirit. We declare an activation of the giftings of the spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost, the nine giftings of the spirit. Oh God, let him manifest in the body. Let him manifest in the church. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we declare fresh visitation of your spirit upon the church. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, release your anointing, release your supernatural grace. He said, it shall come to pass in the last day, say yes God, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see vision and your old men shall dream dreams. We declare, oh God, the enablement, the revival, the revival of your spirit, the revival of the anointing, the anointing that was upon
Bishop Alexandra Darwin, or Catholico Mess anointing over this end time, the anointing that is upon his eminent the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan William. Oh God, release the anointing, a stirring of your grace and a new move of the supernatural power of the Holy Ghost at work in the mighty name of Jesus. Bible says the Spirit lifted Philip and took him into the Ethiopian Inoka. We declare today, Makatu Shatahas, Leko Bragadisha has a revival of the body, a revival of the fivefold ministry, a revival of men and women of God in ministry, a stirring and a visitation of your encounter and of your supernatural grace at work in the body. Let it be rendered, oh Shahas. Let it rain, Takadu Shahas. Let it rain by your spirit, oh God. Rain over the church, rain over your kingdom in the name of Jesus. For he said, I am the Lord. I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And let the people say, Amen. We are still praying for the preservation, refreshing, and the refilling of his eminent, the Archbishop Nicholas Duncan William, bishops and reverend ministers, and, and those who are in labor within the kingdom. We declare, O oh God, according to your word, in Isaiah 44, verse 3, for I will pour water on him who is thirsty. Makato Shata. Any man of God yearning in Mount Osia for a new encounter and a new move of your supernatural grace. Those who are thirsty, Masua, he said, blessed are them who are thirsty for they shall be filled. We declare the infilling power of the Holy Ghost over his eminence, over bishops, over pastors, over ministers of action, chapel, denomination, globally in the name of Jesus Christ and beyond. Them that are following us online, connected to his eminence, men and women of God, we declare the release of the upwelling of your spirit upon them. A visitation of the Lord, an encounter of your grace, an encounter of your spirit, an encounter of your move over the church once again, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare fresh upwelling. We said the flowers on the dry ground, and I will pour my spirit on your descendant, and my blessing on your offspring. We declare the release of the blessing over the offspring of his eminence by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, in Jesus' mighty name. And let the people of the Lord say, Amen. We are still praying according to the word of God in Ephesians 4.25. And we are praying for the spirit of unity to fall upon us, the spirit of oneness to fall over the body. Therefore, putting away lying, let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. I therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, beseech you to walk worthy of the calling with which you are called. We declare, O oh God, we have been called into the body, and we declare, O oh God, we are members of one another. Therefore, we declare that let the unity of the spirit it, be at work, be in operation over the body of Christ in the name of Jesus. Over the church, we command oneness, we command unity, we deploy your mighty hand of the Lord in the name of Jesus and the power of the Holy Ghost to destroy every power of disunity that is at work against the body, manipulating the body. Today, let all forms of manipulations and satanic manipulation to bring distractions and confusion, separation, division against the body be neutralized by the power of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare unity of faith, uh, unity of faith by the power of the Holy Ghost uh, that we shall walk in the unity of the spirit, that there shall be an inflow and manifestation of your power and of your spirit over the body of Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, by the power of your spirit, do we pray today. We are still praying, beloved, praying for the peace, healing, and wholeness in the families and, whole, and household of churches and leaders. Today, according to your word in the book of Psalm 41 verse 3, the Lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness. You will sustain him on his sick bed. We declare by your word, O God, let the sustaining grace sustaining grace of the Lord sustain his eminence. Sustain those who are on the hospital bed. Those going through challenges, crisis, anybody going through any cycle at the point of giving up in life. We declare by your sustaining 
grace. Let your mercy deliver. Let your mercy, oh God, deliver your people. By your outstretch, I'm healed those whom the enemy have projected weakness, sicknesses, things that are taking people by ransom. Today, may the angel of the church deliver in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. In Jesus' name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. And beloved, we are praying one prayer point for Pastor David Raju in India. And you're requesting for prayer for yourself and the church as the minister among the Tegoli people. Father, we pray for your servant. We ask for grace. We ask for empowerment. And we ask for divine fortification. That you undergird him by your spirit. And that the spirit will be upon him. Just as the spirit came mightily upon Philip. And he took him to minister into the Ethiopia Enoch. Today, let the spirit carry your servant, Pastor David Rajo. And we declare a visitation of your grace upon him. A visitation in his ministry. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let him encounter the supernatural grace that is upon the ministry of his eminent dear Bishop Nicola Danka Williams. So at work, the grace that I work for your servant, let it work for your servant, oh God, Pastor David, in the spirit by the power of God. The grace that I've given your servant many victories uh, by the connectivity of your servant with his ministry of his eminent dear Bishop Nicola Danka Williams. We declare that grace. Let it work for him uh, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let there be a friend visitation, an encounter of your grace, an encounter of your glory, an encounter and a manifestation and a demonstration of your spirit at work in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Show forth your glory, O God, even in the life of your servant. Show forth your glory, O God, even in his ministry. Show forth your glory, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. Who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil, for because God was with him. Father, may you be with your servant, Master Katoria, in the ministry, be with him, be his fortification, be his armor, and be his strength. Help him at all time. Let whatever the enemy have projected against his ministry, and any man of God connected on these airwaves into the ministry of his eminent dear Bishop Nicholas Zanka William, we declare grace to work for them. Grace that have worked for your servant, let that same grace prevail for them in the name of Jesus. Over the years that have brought him victories, that have brought him, oh God, with grace and that have helped him to, oh God, to advance to the next dimension of your calling upon his eminence. Let that same grace work for them on these airwaves. Uh, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, uh, visit your servant by your spirit. Visit him by your grace. Uh, let the table turn around for him uh, and let there be a fresh encounter, a fresh revelation, a fresh revelation that will bring him into the perfect will of God for his ministry and for the church. Whatever battle that is ongoing in the spirit against the ministry, we command it to be severed by the blood of Jesus. And we declare, oh God, them that are hearing us this afternoon, any form of contentions and barriers and obstacles that have hindered them from the next dimension of your counsel and your will for them, for the church, for the ministry, for your people of God working in their own ways and different ways in the ministry, may your grace help them in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for the enablement of the Holy Ghost power. We ask for the enablement of the subsiding power of your spirit uh, to work by the Holy Spirit, uh, delivering and overturning the power and the counsel of the enemy against them being neutralized by the blood of Jesus. We counsel our hearts and demands in the spirit against men and women of God. We counsel projections in the heavens against their callings, against giftings in the spirit, covenant in the spirit that are to work against the body, we neutralize them by the blood of Jesus and we enforce your counsel at work in Jesus' mighty name and let the people of the Lord say amen and amen. Before we leave your beloved, we have a promotion for you. Register now. Registration is now open for our Global Prayer Work Summit in the U.S. Book your seat now at ndwministries.org and join this life-changing prayer conference that will take place from 19 July, 22nd July, 2023 in Connecticut, USA. And then we have enrolled in the new uh, Nicola Duncan Williams School Ministry online courses, special 50% discount for the first 100 people to book onto the Global Strategy Prayer course. Secure your seat now.
and is eminent the Yak Bishop Nicola Duncan William latest book and resources are available on Amazon. If you are looking for a church to attend in your area, check out actionchapel.net slash locations. We are one church with many locations. And wherever you are, may God bless you for being part of this prayer. And we know that your life will never be the same. May the grace that have fought for his eminence, may the power of God, and may the spirit of the Lord open doors before you, level mountains before you, and to cause every crooked path in your life to be made straight. Whatever has contended against your life and whatever has prevailed over you, today you are winning victory on every side as you continue in this might and not relenting but praying and not keeping silence until the Lord bring you into his perfect will. I want to declare to you that no matter the obstacles you are breaking out and you are breaking free from every barriers and limitation for you are a royal priesthood you are a chosen generation that the Lord has prepared at this end time and to fulfill his agenda on earth you are blessed beyond curse and so shall it be in Jesus name Amen